first six weeks of him with us were tremendously difficult. Um, he wanted nothing to do with Lincoln the majority of that time and eventually warmed up to me. I never experienced before what it was like to be a stranger in my own home. On the last day of Jess's trip in Haiti, the orphanage director brought a little boy to be prayed for who needed surgery in the States to restore his eyesight. That little boy was Obed. Jess made it very clear that the Lord was telling her that our role in this would be to take care of Obed while he was here in the States receiving medical care. When we all got back from Haiti, we began everything that was required to get him a medical visa. And despite all the red tape, God did a ton of miracles. And in a matter of four months, he was in our home. Even in the midst of the transition and the hard of Obed coming, from the moment he stepped foot in our home, he felt like our son. One of the major hurdles that we had in obtaining Obed's medical visa was finding a doctor that would be willing to treat Obed. We found that in Dr. Hunt, and not only did he agree to treat him, but he agreed to provide all of his services free of charge. Dr. Hunt is one of the many miracles that God showed us during this journey. This has given Obed a chance um, literally to see when he would not have been able to see or been a contributing member um, in Haitian society and we've given him the, the chance to see, the chance to develop his vision and hopefully um, go back and, and be productive and I think it's, it's a great picture of how God sees us and gives us the opportunity when we are blind in so many ways um, to to help us see spiritually like Obed is being able to see physically. Even though I was doing the work of mothering Obed up until his surgery, it wasn't until I saw them roll that little boy down the hall for his first surgery that I actually felt the feelings of being his mom. Knowing that God has called all women to mother, it really freed me to love Obed and in that moment I actually felt it. When Dr. Hunt came in to give us the report after the surgery, he told us that the surgery could not have gone any better. Obviously, that relieved um, all of us, and it was really neat to see that Dr. Hunt wasn't just interested in accomplishing a surgery and being done, but he sincerely cared for Obed. So when Obed got done with both his surgeries, we saw a vast difference in how he saw the world. But it wasn't until he got glasses that we really noticed him seeing things very differently for the first time. I remember we were sitting at home right after his glasses had come in the mail and he had put them on and he was sitting in Jessica's lap and he was just staring at her face. Uh, and he was pointing out all the individual freckles on her face that he'd never seen before, even though he'd been in our home for weeks. Obed's life has been forever changed in so many different ways. Um, the way he relates and interacts with Lincoln and I, the fact that he sleeps through the night, how he is and feels safe out and about, the fact that he learned English and he never stops talking now, um, but greatest of all these things, um, the miracle that God has done, whether or not those things I mentioned stay constant or not, is he's been given the gift of sight. I love you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, bisous. Mwah. Bisous. Bisous. Mwah. Oh, thank Merci. you. Merci. I love you. Thank you. I love you, buddy. I love you, buddy. I just clap. Yes. You oh, can do it. You can do it. Good oh, job. Bad, bad. Look at Lincoln. Let me see. Oh, oh bad, bad. 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 Don't pull that. 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 Don
Mm. Oh. Close enough. Mm. 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 <laughs> you can mm. keep going back and forth. <laughs> You're making me laugh. Mm. <laughs>